So we hope that you enjoy these tips and tricks and if you do definitely give this video a huge thumbs up Try to get it to 1500 likes to see more videos <laughs> like this with Roxy and me Also, can we take one minute to appreciate the fact that I actually have my hair up in a bun? What? Pause, pause, pause You guys, let me know how it goes because I'm very like self-conscious when my hair is like this But anyway If you're new to this channel, I'm Roxy and I'm Par Ooh <laughs> You are not I am <laughs> We want you to be a part of the Paris and Roxy fam, so be sure to click that subscribe button somewhere floating around the screen or in the description bar. And of course, don't forget to follow us on our social media sites, so that includes Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, so that you can see all of the crazy things we do on a daily basis. So yeah, with that being said, let's get straight into this video. Hack number one is a little trick to tame those flyaways. You will need a little kabuki brush and some hairspray. Lightly spray the kabuki with the hairspray and gently brush away any flyaway hairs you have. This is perfect if you want a sleek middle part or even a slicked back ponytail. Hack number 2 is to get overnight curls and all you need to do is braid your hair and secure it with a small elastic before you sleep. We like doing a fishtail braid because we feel like it gives your curls so much more definition. We didn't do a tutorial in this video but there are a ton on YouTube that you can look up and master the fishtail braid. So yeah, just braid your hair in the night and when you wake up in the morning just loose it out and you will have easy effortless waves. The third hack is to use dry shampoo for dirty hair. This is the Herbal Essence Clearly Naked Dry Shampoo which smells so good by the way and all you do is spritz some into the roots of your hair and give it a nice little zhuzh. You immediately get so much volume and lift to your hair. Another hack is to use baby powder if you don't have dry shampoo and this works great especially if you have really oily hair. The baby powder helps to get rid of that greasy look and give your hair that much needed boost. You can immediately see a huge difference in the before and after pictures. The next tip is to use a small claw clip to boost your ponytail and give it some life. Simply put your hair in a high ponytail, flip it over and grab the underneath of your ponytail with the claw clip. Flip your hair back over and voila! You have a super bouncy ponytail with a ton of volume and it literally took less than a minute. Again, you can really see the big difference in the before and after pics. The claw clip gives you that va va voom ponytail. A great tip is to use a claw clip that's the same color of your hair so it will blend in perfectly. Hack number 5 is the easy tear ponytail. All you have to do is gather the front section of your hair and tie it into a ponytail. Then brush out the remaining hair so there won't be any tangles and gather a second section that you will now add to the first ponytail and secure this with a second hair tie like I'm doing here. You can flip the tied pieces to the front of your face to get the hair out of the way and make the sectioning process easier. I only did 3 sections but you can do more if you have time and it will look so much more intricate if you use smaller pieces of hair. As you can see, it looks as if a lot of effort went into this ponytail but it was really just sectioning off my hair and tying it together. The sixth hack is to put your hair in the Princess Jasmine inspired bubble ponytail. This has easily become one of our fave hairstyles and it's super simple. Put your hair in a low ponytail and then tie it further down with another hair tie. Then gently pull out the section in between the two hair ties and you get a bubble effect like this. Then take another elastic and tie it a little further down again and gently pull out the part in between so you get another bubble section like this. You can even put your hair in a high ponytail and repeat these steps for an even more sophisticated look. Either way, it's gonna look amazing and it takes less than 2 minutes. This is perfect especially if you have really long hair and you can get a ton of bubbles going down your hair. <laughs> 
Hack number seven is the simple twist and this is especially useful if you're annoyed by your hair constantly being in your face. Just gather a small section of your bangs or your hair in front and tightly twist it away from your face and secure it with a bobby pin. This way you won't have your hair all over your face and you still get to rock that effortless hairstyle. It's also a great option if you don't want to do a braid. The eighth tip is to do a low folded bun. The first step is to put your hair into a low ponytail and then part the section above your hair tie like this. Then take the ponytail and flip it through the hole like I'm doing here. Then you basically repeat that same step over and over. Flip the ponytail through the parted section until you have a little bit of hair left that you can just tuck in and secure with a bobby pin. This is a fast and easy way to get a low bun that's classy and perfect for any occasion. Hack number 9 is the sock bun and this is an oldie but a goodie and definitely great for any lazy girl. All you do is put your hair in a high ponytail. It's really important that you brush out any tangles you have so it will make this process easier. Then take your sock donut and pull your ponytail through it. Slide the donut to the top of your ponytail and tuck your hair underneath it like Roxy is doing here. Then gently fold the donut down, step by step, tucking it into your hair along the way until it reaches your hair tie. This is a really easy way to get an elegant high bun in less than 5 minutes and these donuts are really inexpensive. You can find them at Forever 21, H&M or on Amazon. The last hack is the laziest of them all but we ain't got no shame. <laughs> <laughs> all you do is plop a hat on your head if you're having a bad hair day and just don't have time to deal with that drama. Just find a cute hat or a beanie that matches your outfit and then smoothen out the visible parts of your hair and you're good to go. So that's a wrap for these 10 hairstyle hacks that are perfect for lazy girls and we hope that you enjoy them. Yeah, don't forget to comment down below and let us know which was your favorite idea. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching and we'll, we'll see, see you in our next video. video. Bye! Mwah.